Hey, kid, let me out. <laughs> Ah, is somebody there? Oh, oh! Uh-oh, better hide. Oh, I wish I was out of here. Your first wish is granted. Huh? Ah! Don't leave me. You've got two more wishes coming. Fell over by itself, I guess. But at least the stopper is still in. Can't afford to ever let this danger out. <laughs> Boo! Reggie, I'm trying to concentrate here. Then here, let me wake up the little mouse in the wheel. Hey, if you're looking for a hot story, right about that time I shot down those enemy fighters. Why are you always taking credit for things you don't do, Reggie? You're not even a pilot. I was right on his tail when he banked hard right. <laughs> My computer! <gasps> huh? Nice one, Reggie. Not only did you ruin my story, and not only did you short out my laptop, but this hard drive is red hot! Yeah! I told you it was a hot story. <sighs> I don't know what to do now, Jughead. My newspaper article is due soon, and look, I can't even type. No sweat. You dictate, I'll hunt and peck. Thanks, but I really don't have a good, weird mystery to dictate. Truth is, I'm blank. How about checking out Dr. Beaumont's shop? He's always got something weird in there. Jughead, you're a genius. I never argue with friends. Welcome, young gentlemen, to my Emporium of Curios and Antiquities. Thanks, Doc. I was wondering if you had any weird or spooky stories that you'd care to share. Ah, of course. You will write the story while your friend here will type it on this laptop, which you received as a loner while yours is in the repair shop. That's amazing. Did you read our minds? No, I read the repair shop sticker that said loner. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, got any creepy tales to tell? Like this strange plastic bullet. Was this used to shoot a poltergeist? No, it's my nasal inhaler. Hey, Doc, how about Arabian knickknack, huh? This? This is nothing. Sorry, no stories today, boys. Goodbye. <laughs> but my computer! Here, now, good day. Boy, was he in a strange mood today. Yeah, probably worried about some cosmic disruption. Me, I only worry about lunch. This is just great. No story. And I have to work extra hours this week to pay for my computer repair. Looks like I'm going to miss my deadline. Maybe you could get someone else to write your article for you. Jughead, do you mean it? Whoa, whoa, don't look at me. The weirdest mystery I could come up with is why there's no ham in a hamburger. Hmm, who could I trust with my newspaper article? It's gotta be someone who really cares about my stories. Veronica! <gasps> Bad idea, Arch. Ronnie is sweet and everything, but all she really cares about is shopping. You've got her all wrong, Jughead. Veronica will love this. I hate this. I'd rather be shopping. Hey, everyone! Reggie's here! Ah, uh, my public. Beat it, Reggie. Who dumped trash on your lawn of happiness? Archie, he stuck me with his stupid article, and I can't think of a single thing to write about. You mean old Carrot Top has given you complete control over his weird mystery story? Yes, and the only mystery I can think of is why am I the only one with fashion sense in Riverdale? Don't you worry your pretty little head about this nasty old assignment. Reggie Mantle will take over the reporter chores. You mean it? City Ma, here I come. I'll write the dumbest article in history. Then I'll put Archie's name on it. He'll be the laughing stock of the school. <laughs> <laughs> Must be an echo in here. Time for some mischief. 
I just wish I could make this dumb story come true. That would be a hoot. Your first wish has been granted. Who said that? Archie's Weird Mysteries. Hello, dear readers. I want to tell you about a horrible monster that appeared in Riverdale today. My old pal Jughead was in his front yard relaxing in a hammock. And then it happened. A horrific howl bellowed from beneath the street. Jughead fell out of his hammock in disbelief. For what happened next was beyond human understanding. creature tore its way up from the depths below and towered over Jughead. The monstrous reptile had saber-tooth fangs, deadly horns, and a nasty rash on his stomach. Jughead tried to hide behind a tree, but the creature blasted it with his flamethrower breath. The tree trunk saved Jughead's life. But the turtle had another trick up its shell. Laser beam eyes. There was nothing to save Jughead now, but then something miraculous happened. Oh. What? The monster saw a bird fly by. Fascinated, he sprouted jet rockets and took off. The creature disappeared into space, never to be seen again. So ends another weird mystery, which I swear on a stack of Bibles is absolutely positively true. Even the rash part. Honest and truly. The end. Wait till the editor gets hold of this. Archie will be the biggest joke on campus. Flying turtles with laser eyes? Yep. Totally ridiculous, right? Wrong. It's totally fabulous. An accurate account of the giant turtle attack. Huh? For once, our school has an exclusive story. Cynthia Kim has scooped the city newspaper. Are you nuts? This is all make-believe. Flame breath for crying out loud. But those are the very things that Jughead keeps mumbling about. What? Big teeth, rocket packs, uh, uh, horns, lasers, and hammock, huge turtle. See, those random details all make sense after reading Archie's fantastic article. No, no, you got it wrong. I wrote that article, not Archie. You? Yeah, I should get all the credit. Then it looks like I've discovered a hot new star reporter. Reggie, that article you wrote yesterday is fantastic. Everyone in school is talking about it. Yeah, it's much better than anything I could have come up with. Shucks, gals. It was nothing for a talented genius like me. There you are, you snake. I want my newspaper column back. Huh? What? You mean Reggie's weird mysteries? That's my series, and you know it. You can have it, Junior. I'm through with this two-bit school paper. This morning, the Riverdale City Gazette asked me to do a daily article for them. You got a job on a big city newspaper? That's been my dream. Well, dream on, little broomstick cowboy. The job is mine. Well, gotta go report on my next brilliant article. Hold on. How exactly did you report with such realism when you weren't even there? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I should give away my reporting secrets. We geniuses have to protect our talent. Huh? What's going on here? I wrote about something I never even saw. How did I do that? Am I psychic? What if I can't do it again? Martian Attack USA. That's it. I'll just steal this science fiction idea. No one will ever know, and I'll take all the credit. I only wish this story would be as good as the last one. Your second wish has been granted. Okay, here goes. It was a sunny, bright day at Riverdale High this morning, when suddenly, huh? dark clouds blotted out the sun. 
There was something hiding in those clouds. Something alien. It was a Martian saucer. The round metallic ship began firing a ray gun at the students. Everyone was panicked until Principal Weatherby suddenly appeared to maintain order. Aliens! Don't panic. Head for the exits in an orderly fashion. But, sir, we're outside. Then uh, head for the entrances. <laughs> Unfortunately, the aliens decided to abduct the principal for their fiendish experiments. Help! Somebody get me down! Archie Andrews tried to help, but as usual, he was worthless. <sighs> help! Somebody help me! It looked like there was only one person mad enough to handle this situation. Reggie Mantle. Throwing his own shoe, he managed to hit the only vulnerable part of the saucer. <laughs> Holy smoke! This is really happening! Must. Throw. Shoe! Help! Someone please help me! Help! <laughs> the ship was severely damaged by Reggie's heroic act and it let go of Principal Weatherby. Retreating to Mars, the ship left Riverdale for good. The sunny day returned, and everyone congratulated Reggie Mantle. The end. This boy is a hero. I proclaim today, Reggie Mantle Day. No school! <laughs> You okay? No. There's something weird about Reggie's stories. In fact, I'd call it a weird mystery. How'd I know you were going to say that? Dr. Beaumont? Hello? Excuse me, Doctor, but I was wondering if we could pick your brain for a bit. You in there? Speak up! I don't think there's a brain there to pick. Shh. Uh, Doctor, what's wrong? It got out. What got out? The genie from this bottle. He got out through this crack. Talk about cracked. Are you serious, Doc? A real genie? Oh, yes. Very powerful. Very evil. But he's still here in my store. Genies must hide inside an object, usually a bottle, until they can grant someone three wishes. So it hasn't been freed yet? No. As soon as I discovered the crack, I shut the place down. Nothing has left this store in the last two days. <clears throat> Except a laptop computer. My goodness. That's right. You were here that day. The genie must be in your laptop. Of course. No wonder Reggie's two stories were so accurate. He wrote them and the genie made them come true. Two? Quick, you've got to find this fellow and stop him from making that third wish. Otherwise, Riverdale is doomed. We have gathered here today to honor Reggie Mantle, the student who saved my life. Stop, stop. You're giving me too much credit. It wasn't me who saved you. It wasn't? No, it was my new mental ability to make things happen. I simply wish things into existence. <laughs> what a kidder. <laughs> no, it's true. I created the flying saucer and the giant turtle with these talented fingers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then I'll just have to prove to you bumpkins once and for all that I am the greatest thing that ever happened to Riverdale. Huh? Whatever I type will come true. Reggie Mantle wishes it so. Your third wish has been granted. It was Reggie Mantle Day at Riverdale High, and everyone had turned out to honor him, when suddenly the football field turned bright orange. Oh, 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 that's 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 that. that's that's orange. orange. How did he do that? The entire town was so amazed by Reggie's mental abilities that they gave him a sports car and a pile of money. Good heavens, he can make things happen. Then Betty and Veronica showed everyone how much they adored the amazing Reggie. What is he talking about? I don't...
don't adore him. Block! <laughs> Reggie, don't do it! Reggie finally proved once and for all that he deserves all the credit for every amazing thing that ever happened. The end. I have granted three wishes, and now I am free! Mwah! Mwah! Thank you, thank you. They like me. They really, really like me. <gasps> After 700 years, at last, I am free! <laughs> oh no, Jughead. We're too late. What is that thing? Bad news. I've been cooped up far too long. It's time to have some fun. How about a barbecue? Ah, this one looks tasty. Help! Somebody help! Hmm! Now who would make a good appetizer? Run, everybody! No! No! Put me down! Now I know what a flame broke burger must feel like! Help! Reggie, do something! You can make things happen, remember? That's right! Reggie Mantle has power! He can do anything! Yes, save us, Reggie. We believe in you. Nobody knew where the genie had come from, but Reggie Mantle made the brute disappear with a wave of his mighty hand. Be gone! Scram! Vamoose! Go! Vanish! You don't have any power, Runt. It was all me. How dare you take credit for my deeds? I'm the one who can create things, and I'm the one who can take them away! <gasps> Mama? I'm too gorgeous to die! Archie, think of something! Yo, green boy, down here! Ah, the loudmouthed one with the red hair! You shall be my next victim! Yeah, yeah, real scary. But first, I've got to ask you something. Ask quickly, Grease Putt! Okay, aren't you acting kind of like Reggie here? I mean, you're taking credit for all this magical stuff, but how do I know you really have any power? Reggie didn't. Psst, leave me out of it! Of course I have the power! Prove it! Gladly! Give me an impossible task! Well, here's the most impossible thing on this planet getting ketchup out of a new bottle. Child's play! <laughs> Shaking the bottle does no good. It must be pushed out. And when I am done, I will destroy you for your insolence. See how easily I accomplish this. Him. Let me out! I mean it! I am all-powerful! Please? Sorry. I'm giving this bottle to Dr. Beaumont so we can guard it forever. No! Archie did it! No, I did it! If I hadn't freed the genie, there would never have been a ketchup bottle there for Archie to use! Hey, I thought you adored me! And so the genie was locked away in a ketchup bottle, and Riverdale was spared from destruction. Everything's pretty much back to normal. My fingers have healed, and I'm able to type my newspaper articles again. But poor Jughead was so freaked out, he didn't eat hamburgers for a whole day. And Reggie learned how dangerous it is to take credit for something you didn't do. And until the grass grows out, the only place you can find an orange football field is in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs>